the Assistant Secretary for the VA's Financial Management and Business Transformation. You know, so one of the things that, that I think is important is that you know, VA is probably in the largest transformation in terms of IT in history right now. So I think it's important for people to understand it's not just one, um, it's multiple initiatives within VA that actually are going to interplay with one another. So it can be huge transformation within VA. So today, uh, VA actually has a number of legacy solutions that don't talk to each other. And so one of the things that we're doing um, that's one of the tenets of this particular program is that to have that integration. So the solution that we're implementing actually has acquisition and finance as an ERP solution. And so we will actually be integrating both the acquisition community and the finance community in one solution. That's, that doesn't exist today, so that's going to be a huge benefit for VA in the future. Long standing within VA, we've not had an integrated acquisition and finance solution, and it's uh, presented problems in terms of understanding what VA is buying and how we're um, leveraging buying and all of that. So, implementing this new solution is going to allow us to really um, be on the forefront of, of where that spend is and understanding the needs of our veterans a lot more than we do today. So actually getting information down at the station level and real-time information is going to allow those station directors and, and those that are caring directly for our veterans information that they need about how um, their hospital budget is being spent and where they can better utilize their funding to support our veterans. In addition to that, for like Veterans Benefits Administration, we're going to be able to link uh, at the transaction level what uh, the CMP information and all of the uh, compensation benefit information directly with veterans and better understanding in real time uh, the information supporting our veterans. So VA has had a couple of successes around enterprise-wide deployments. Um, recently, about uh, July of last year, we completed the uh, VA time and attendance solution for VA. That was an enterprise-wide um, application that was deployed across the enterprise, affected about 360,000 VA employees. So um, VA does have a track record on being able to implement um, enterprise-wide solutions and, and know how to do that. So fortunately, I was able to be part of that. And so leveraging lessons learned from there to apply to this implementation it is, is going to be very worthwhile. One of the things that, that we really have to do in VA is uh, address organizational change management. So um, because VA's had legacy systems for a number of years, when we make changes, widespread changes like that, it requires a lot of attention at the employee level. Uh, so really boots on the ground and actually uh, having people before, during, and after the deployment so that you can handhold and make sure that you don't leave that facility until everybody's comfortable with the new technology. So what we're doing is we're going in early. We're doing a readiness assessment of the workforce and of, um, you know, the infrastructure and so forth. And we're developing a profile of what change will be needed at that particular medical center and or regional office, what have you, so that we develop their organizational change and their operating model to fit them specifically so that, uh, again, it's not one size, just go across the enterprise, it's unique to uh, the services and the mission of that particular entity. Yeah, so really the future of VA's financial management system is, uh, is an integrated solution both with acquisition and finance. So in order for VA to really get an entire picture of the spend and, and really the commodities that VA uses to care for our veterans, an integrated solution is going to allow us to do that, get a timely information to the key people at the medical centers and regional offices that are caring for our veterans so that they can make the right decisions. So some of the key uh, IT things that, that we'll continue to, to leverage is this particular solution is in the cloud. So, um, you know, I think that that's really key for VA to, to sort of leverage um, the, the existing cloud that they have. There's a couple of clouds that VA has in play now and we're utilizing one of those. Uh, I think that they need to continue to expand the, uh, the different services that are being provided by the cloud solution rather than you know decentralize things at the medical centers the way that they do today. 
Um, the other is um, really leveraging existing technology around data analytics and um, using VA has a lot of robust data sources and being able to leverage that to help VA understand uh, really and connect what's going on across the large enterprise that VA has is going to help us make the right decisions in the future. I also think that you know VA is starting to look at robotics and, and there's a lot of processes that could apply that technology within VA as well. Thank you.